Hey there, everybody. John Cougar Hunter, Method Camp. Live in the Lambo. Had an exciting night last night. First, I want to give a shout out to Sabeher. Send me a message all the way from Bangladesh. Apparently the cougar hunter is getting big over there. Said, not only am I teaching him how to cougar hunt, he's also learning to speak English. Not sure I'm the best person for that. But hey, I'll take all the all the compliments I can get like to leave me a message, you can contact me on Facebook, John Cougar Hunter Method Camp at gmail.com, subscribe to my YouTube, comment there as well, send me a message and I'll reply to as many as I can, anyway big news last night, Meth Jagger, off house arrest. That's right. Apparently he got himself a new lawyer. The lawyer got a hold of his, his doctor. And his doctor testified that he was off his Prozac at the time he threw that Christmas tree at his old lady. So, judge judge said he was not guilty by reason of insanity. Good news, good news. So Big Mike, he opened a strip club last night, the Bear Cave. I decided to take Matt Jagger over there to celebrate his newly found freedom. Well, apparently, Big Mike didn't know this, but bear is a, a term used in the gay community when he passed out all those flyers he made, he hand wrote all of them, and his U's kind of looked like A's, and he said on there it was a guy's paradise. So, once the doors opened and music started, there was a bunch of angry men in there. But, Math Jagger and Big Mike go way back. I think they might have served together in the military. But, Math Jagger that music started that crowd was there got him got him pumped up and his his performance gene just kicked in he went backstage put on his leopard leotard and apparently according to the to all the men there it, it was it was all inspiring what he did for four hours on that stage. I went over to the to the other stage. It's trailer Park Tammy was giving her farewell performance before she left on maternity leave. She danced all the way up until her water broke. That's dedication right there. Dedication to your art. But Meth Jagger danced for four hours over there. Kept all them, all the men happy and and the women who came in there with her with her uh, their 
spouses. He made enough in tips to pay off that new lawyer. So, it worked out for everybody. Now, Big Mike, he's talking about just putting up a partition and having male strippers on one stage and MILF strippers on the other. I, I think it's I think it's gonna work out. Everything's just gonna work out alright. Got a new doorman over there. His name's Tommy. He's a good guy. Just moved here not long ago from Detroit. I think he might have done a little time. He was running a store up there, sold off brand sex toys and bondage gear. It's called As You Wish because he bought all that stuff off of Wish and resold it. His ex got pissed off at him and when she left him, she turned him into the feds. They couldn't really charge him with anything, but they did find out he cut the tag off his mattresses, so I think he did like three years. But, you know, like I said, Big Mike's all about second chances. So he gave him a job down there. You think he's going to want to work the door on the gay side? Kind of looks like a gay Gandalf. Human cage fighter. He showed up for that grand opening. Got to talking to Big Mike. Big Mike, when he was in the military, he actually was sent on a secret mission down there to Cuba to try to take out Castro. He got sidetracked by the ladies. So, they're going to go do a DNA test because I'm pretty sure that the Cuban cage fighter is Mike's offspring. So, you know, it, it was just a a really good night. I mean, it made my heart feel good. All the good things that were happening, you know. Big Mike said if if he is his son, you know, he wants to make up for those those 30 years that he, that he missed of his life. I think he's going to offer him a job down there. Hell, Cuban cage fighter probably end up inheriting the, the fireworks fortune. Today was just an awe-inspiring night. Really, really good night. The only bad thing that happened last night, Eddie overdosed. He went to that grand opening as well and watching them strippers got him all turned on had to go home and turn on the porn hub he was all pissed off cause he got a error message on his computer and said you've reached the end of porn hub so he started just googling anything he could find and went deep down the rabbit hole Overdosed. Overdosed. Walked in there and his right arm looked like Popeye, his left arm looked like olive oil. He's back in the hospital. It's getting to the point now. Now we don't know if Eddie's gonna be back in time for a a reunion tour. Speaking of Trailer Park Trio, found out we got to change their the name of the band. Yeah, there's a Dixie Chicks cover band with the same name. So, 
we're gonna have we're gonna change the name to Metallica. You know, I me and Meth Jagger voted and it was unanimous. The other night when I was over there at Meth Jagger's house, we were practicing a little bit. One of his buddies from high school showed up. Dude had a meth problem. He's trying to get clean. He's got them March Madness teeth. He's down to his final four. Anyway, he was trying to sing background vocals. And we kept having to stop because we thought we were having blown speaker. Really what it was was those last four teeth in his mouth were just vibrating as he sung. So I told Meth Jagger we can't have him as a backup singer unless he gets some teeth pulled. So if you know anybody who needs some need some background talent. Somebody with teeth that aren't loose. It was a really good night, though. I'm about to pull in the driveway now. Night's at night. I gotta put that cream on Charlene's back. Probably ought to just go ahead and take a shower and get her first dibs at the Thunder Thimble so I can be rested up for the weekend. Could use a bologna sandwich, though. Sounds like I got a busy day. Gotta go.